Hello there folks, this is Ferenjan on board again. Welcome to my little YouTube channel, a channel that I'm slowly expanding with different ideas and well topics on spirituality, dream interpretation and well usually questions that I can answer from different sources, usually from Quora or questions that I get answers myself through my own introspection and well I provide some of the answers here on this little YouTube channel by, well, diving deeper into those specific topics. Now, the topic I wanted to discuss today was, well, is actually that of the um, falling, the idea of falling in dreams, which seems to be quite a, uh, well, general one, and I've been hearing quite a lot from people, they say that they manifest this in their dreams, or actually they experience this in their dreams, and, you know, I wanted to come up with an opinion and say, hey, you know what, let's see what I actually can uh, present about this. So, the topic of dreams is something that can be not easily discussed, because it is something quite intricate. It is something that is specific to each and every individual and that is something that I really want people to deeply understand because namely whatever you dream that is something that belongs to you and you only. You are basically the only one who can understand the deeper meaning of each dream. Everyone else can only be let's say more like a little guide or something like that because even if the dream topic is similar it will always be different or almost, let's say almost different from person to person. Falling in a dream can be representative of multiple aspects, it can be representative and many people will actually point you towards the fact that you're kind of losing control in your own life. That is what um, people would usually say. Wherever you look, you will see that this is kind of... Uh, the typical answer you will be finding. Uh, you're losing control over things in life, you have a lot of anxiety, and it kind of seems to me more like the typical boring answer or, you know, the uh, typical general or generalized answer that people uh, have accepted throughout time this dream might actually mean. But falling in life can be a representative of many things, and when you dream of a certain topic, be it more common to folks or less common to folks, like for example in my case, uh, dreaming of a specifically large building, uh, representative in a way of a university I could say, but it's so huge, it's uh, far greater than any university I may have seen in my own country, but it is a huge building which is reminiscent of classes that, well, some of them actually look like classes I have been into and I have been very migratory when it came to school thanks to my mother, which also this fact helped me a lot when it came to improving myself, my relationships and my capability to understand people. Now, um, this topic has repeated within my life for quite a long time. and. Usually it was about me not being prepared for several things, but as of late it has manifested itself twice and apparently I was kind of graduating or something like that. Now dreams about school can be something like uh, dreaming about your own uh, mind's prison. Things can be interpreted in quite a lot of ways and I might come up with ideas that might uh, twist a few beliefs uh, here and there. Okay, so what could these falling dreams mean? Uh, wait a bit, just one minute to note something down. Okay. Okay, so if we are to actually dive deeper, usually that which what I do and well, hey, I actually see a 4.44 p.m. Never actually, never actually intended to catch such magical hours during my video recordings, but, well, they usually happen, and I kind of see most of them anyways. So, falling in a dream can be more things. Now, it depends 
uh, when it happens, is it day or is it night? There have to be many questions that you also ask yourself and usually dreams, the more they recur, they are a reminder of your not being introspective enough. Usually in my case, I also have some voices that I hear and some explanations that I get and throughout the dream I might even consciously understand certain things but when I wake up the point is I kind of no longer know what those things were all about. This is not necessarily a bad thing. And I have made previous dream, uh, dream interpretation videos and you could check those up as well. Now the point about dreams and what I want people to understand is that dreams and whatever you see in there, they are not almost ever gonna be what you really saw in your dream. When your consciousness experiences different things in other dimensions of your own mind, or probably even beyond that, the point is it will experience different things and for that it will require a certain body that is specialized in experiencing those things. I'm not yet knowledgeable how those bodies are created, but one thing I know for sure. Each dimension can be only and only uh, experienced through the prism of a vehicle. In our case, let's call it a body. This physical dimension can only be, can only be experienced through when you have a physical body. There are many discarnate beings around us, souls, ghosts, all sorts of parasitic manifestations and all sorts of the such, even our own thoughts that we manifest into the world, even and especially those of hatred and the such. Those manifestations cannot experience this world because they don't have a physical body. They don't have, therefore, the tools to understand this world. Most mostly what they see and well probably if you know this you're probably you can probably you know understand these things a bit better it's just like being dead in world of warcraft and all you see is just some spells and activatables here and there and uh, most likely you see some players moving around at a certain range uh, that would be preferably i mean that would be probably the almost a close representation Okay, because if you can, if you don't have the specific vehicle required to experience a certain world, you simply won't experience it. It's just like when a player in a video game is basically a camera, and that's what basically you are in this uh, in this life as well. Oh yes, four forty-seven, another another angel number that I keep seeing. Ah, well, I am as usual grateful to the universe. Now the point about this is I'm not literally um, hunting these things, I'm not waiting to see them, my eyes just land on them irrespective of where I look, and when I speak I usually don't look at the screen anyways. So dreams are just like entering a certain video game. Some theories say that when you dream you're actually waking up to that uh, reality of who you really are. and if you haven't noticed or you haven't well actually let's not talk about that video necessarily uh, i don't want people to understand that i'm just copycatting others but falling can be representative of other things not just uh, you're losing control over your mind or over certain things your finances uh, control over beings or other people are pushing you to the precipice of your demise and all sorts of ideas that usually come up with and they kind of tend to be uh, either too dark or kind of too apocalyptical which is kind of both are uh, theoretically dark but apocalyptical or apocalypse comes from apocalypsis in Greek which means a lifting of the veil a lifting of the uh, hidden okay the veil that well the hidden was disguised behind okay so, as I said, in video games, the player is nothing else than a moving camera. Just as you are in this life, okay? Since we pay so much attention to our optical uh, sensor, which is most likely our most important anyways, um, the point is, you just move around and you simply feed upon different ideas. When you install a game, you basically create a body, okay? even if it is animal or a ship or whatever you can only experience that universe through the prism of that body okay now of course no one would actually go 
as deep as to saying, well, when that screen is flashing and when those damages occur, does that cybernetic body made out of code and zero and ones actually feel any pain when those projectiles uh, interact with it? It could be a funny question to ask, and of course many would say that this would be nonsense. However, it also depends on awareness, and it also depends on how much you would be investing emotionally into these. Now let's not deviate too much, okay? I just want people to understand that dreams are not necessarily what you see, actually what you remember. Uh, the only exception here would be most likely vivid dreams because they have a different mechanic which I'm not fully aware of. And I've been having a lot of these in a certain period in my life, not uh, far away from nowadays. So when you come back from these, when your consciousness comes back from these experiences, it has experienced these at a level most likely beyond your, beyond that of your mind. And these having manifested in this way, your mind will simply be uh, unable to understand what you, your consciousness has uh, perceived in those worlds. So therefore, everything you have perceived, or some of those, usually the most or the closest relatable to your reality, will be translated somewhere, for, uh, somehow for your mind. Now, as an authorized translator, there is an expression in translating that says traditore traditore, which means the translator presented as a traitor. Because in all translation, there is always going to be a little bit of treason towards the original sense, because, well, there's always going to be a little loss of sense. Alright, so, just because you have had a dream about a certain um, aspect that's been uh, repeating and that is, you know, like everyone speaks about it, don't simply rush in understanding what it actually would mean. Now, what could actually falling mean in dreams? So, let's actually see what I can come up with in terms of interpreting these, this dream symbol. It can actually be just pure imagination. It can actually be a manifestation of different fears of yours that are being purged. Now, I also have a question, okay, like especially in those situations when you dream yourself being hunted or something like that. Is it you that is watching you, okay? Like, let's say you are being looked at by a wolf, okay, or you are being charged at by a wolf. Now the question is, couldn't you actually be the wolf and you, the manifestation that you are seeing through, let's say, the prism of, okay, the through the eyes of, let's say like this, that could actually be the fear that you once had, the fear of something, I don't know, it could be anything, and that wolf that's charging is basically either an animal protector of yours, a spirit guide, or a part of you that is actually attacking that fear of yours and simply banishing it, okay? Every time we sleep, there is a sort of emotional discharge, let's call it like that. Uh, karmic debt repayment, uh, let's call it like certain thoughts of ours are being drained and are being, well, deconstructed, let's say. And these thoughts that we also haven't been thinking of for a long while, they uh, all thoughts tend to dissipate, okay? When you dream, there are also what I call, um, I don't know exactly how to call them, but, you know, um, uh, let's call them sleep phages, okay? Um, there are these beings that will simply come and feed upon some of your emotions, usually uh, thoughts that you have created a lot of um, attachment towards, usually lower emotions, you know, lower vibrational attachments like uh, fear, hatred, and the such. And when these beings come, all they're interested in is they just come in for a snack. They're interested in those emotions because all the emotions you also store in your auric field. When they get too much of you actually start feeling them because that's the only moment when you start me feeling emotions, when there's too much of those already. 
and grudges and literally every low vibrational emotion has its own unique place in the body where it stores but it can also be stored in other separate uh, ways as well and these beings simply come in for a snack some of them actually remain on you like small little parasites but their purpose is just to continue to cleanse you of the filth that your untrained mind and you know your untrained mind is actually creating because untrained minds don't know how to not overreact to literally everything so when these entities would interact with you such dreams can actually occur and you know um, when these manifestations are being are being drained upon uh, some of these beings okay uh, actually can feed upon other beings okay like not in between themselves necessarily but you see some of these energies that are feasted upon are actually uh, almost conscious or even conscious thoughts the more you create the more you think of things the more conscious those thought forms become if you suddenly hate someone you're technically creating a little thought which becomes which actually a thought is a life form and this life form though not biological but fully energetical it actually fades of its own accord okay it fades because this is the nature of everything in this universe everything slowly fades even black holes fade okay they simply dissipate let's call it like this and every thought that is not materialized will also seek to re-become pure and this means uh, fully fading okay no longer having a karma no longer having a memory structure that holds it together that's what also happens with our body it is a memory structure that simply dissipates when this structure becomes too weak because of its dissipation a natural death simply occurs and the way you uh, treat your body or disregard it can actually enhance this dissipation process or not or sometimes it can actually delay it and these thought forms that you create these can be actually they are like uh, unconscious or conscious beings okay you feed them through your own emotions and basically they have part of your emotions as well and well usually you give birth to such thoughts because of hatred anger and you know all of these lower vibrational emotions and being born in such a state those beings are capable of also manifesting their own emotions and fears so therefore when these are being drained upon such dreams can actually trigger most likely because they manifest a certain fear okay they manifest a certain uh, misunderstanding of what's happening what's uh, disturbing them right what's happening to them most of the emotions and thoughts that come to your mind simply are taken from different other sources just that you don't remember you are um, what you feed your mind with or what you have fed your mind with throughout your whole existence and throughout your you know other blocks of his existence let's call it like this or people call them previous lives or let's call them blocks of existence because each previous life that you had is stored somewhere in the Akashic records because consciousness knows that you will not be able to handle the burdens of previous lives most people can't handle the burden of several years before their this current moment of their existence so many people have untrained minds and untrained emotions and they you know their understanding of these two dimensions is so low that they simply will run mad if they would uh, suddenly be plunged against you know much more than they could actually handle so to give it even more meaning than this okay this could be another situation don't just rush for this specific point okay falling can also be a sign of consciousness okay uh, this might sound probably strange or you might have some kind of revelation and say hey you know what I kind of knew that if you have that sensation well it's most likely because you have understood kind of an, a representative truth uh, falling can be an easy interpretation for the fact that you're suddenly giving in to the flow of life um, 
this can also be represented probably by suddenly being in a river and you know the current just takes you uh, you know downwards okay the state of being worried is most likely your conscious mind that reacts to the translation that your dream is okay most likely that which you remember when you wake up is just a translation of the marvels that you have seen far beyond the comprehension of the conscious mind and the conscious mind almost instantly and you know attaches logical um, you know interpretation to that you know like the mind is not capable of understanding what is actually real okay it just takes everything as is okay and it also compares it it pitches it with the information stored in the emergency aspect okay in the reptilian brain okay and uh, the reptilian brain is also let's say an ancient portal okay it is connected deeply to our ancestors and to the akashic records of the human race as well that is why so many people freak out they have wrong circuitry that they have been creating in their life because when something bad happens to them it's just them in their mind that portray that as so bad but the mind simply cannot understand what something bad is and um, if there is so much emotion okay and so much investment of uh, you know something bad the mind will be propelled suddenly through the lower vibrations that the person manifests these sorts of uh, fear and you know being demoralized being you know like terrorized okay um, it will literally go through all the possible uh, dangers okay it, uh, it has faced through all its facets of existence okay and everything that our ancestors have manifested we bear that in our DNA okay so to some people when they are on the verge of losing someone even if their relationship was like shit okay when they are on the verge of losing someone uh, to them it's almost as much of a terror as the real uh, moment okay an ancestor has found a bear let's say and they know they are defenseless and their whole body is about pain and pressure like find a solution find a solution danger danger okay critical danger right like uh, almost deathly danger right uh, so many people find themselves in situations that are simply irrelevant but it you know they have all this bad circuitry in their mind that they treat those aspects right as some kind of ancient danger okay all those every encounter that any generation and even any individual has feeds the collective consciousness and that is why the newer generations that come are more knowledgeable that is why for example corporatism was not going to be successful for too long the people who initially the first generations who initially thought it was uh, you know something to be proud of to join corporations you know they experienced a lot of happiness and that bombarded the consciousness and you know more further and further the disappointment started becoming more and more real and the newer generations that come already had that encrusted in their DNA and the more they experienced the faster the connection to that reality became so that is why the newer generations faster and faster realized that hey in the end there is nothing so good about this okay and this is something that's kind of bad okay and nowadays you can actually see there is a lot of repulsion towards this okay so falling in a dream can be a representative of you actually letting go in life okay it can be actually an invitation from your higher self or other such beings to simply let go in life okay um, it can also be this is a specifically personal interpretation now I simply am not uh, gonna take it as hundred percent real but it can be a representation of you finally doing things the way you want and the way you should finally being on your path why I would ask this why you would ask probably because falling is like finally being um, you know by the so-called rules okay if you jump off a building in this universe you fall because there's gravity in this universe okay so 
flying in a way would mean that you're breaking those rules. Now, breaking rules can also mean you're breaking free from the matrix and the such. So don't rush to interpret that, you know, falling would mean that you're getting back into the matrix. Okay, now it depends for each individual. You have to become really introspective and hopefully I have given enough uh, value through this. Okay, so falling can be simply a sign of literally everything. It could be a sign of you aging up spiritually. It could be a sign of you finally realizing more things about yourself. It is uh, either that you're diving more and more into the depths of your subconscious mind it can actually mean a lot and literally a lot of things uh, you should also ask yourself what is the main emotion that you manifest uh, are you content with it which means you're most likely uh, going through what's called as the fall through consciousness because the purpose of life and you know uh, true yogis will present life to you as a process of falling in a way okay now, life in the, in the end is like falling in a bottom pit, okay? It is a pit that at a certain time it actually has a bottom, okay? That's when, theoretically, your life ends, okay? And such a dream can be a representation of that. Another thing would be that, you know, try to understand life as falling into a bottomless pit. That is the process. That is the process of life. The more you fall through that, okay, theoretically you should gain more and more speed. If the pit is bottomless, there is not a problem. You will just keep falling. If it has a bottom, then there is a problem because, you know, you will simply fall to your death. But the point is, if we speak about gravity and friction, you might actually lose consciousness in a real life environment. Now, the point in dreams is that life is just like that. The more you fall towards your subconscious, okay, you fall from a form, okay, when we have the youngest spiritual age, we simply create all sorts of attachments, we do all sorts of bad things in life because that's how our little uh, young facet of consciousness understands things. You gain a lot of karma, you do a lot of murders, you do a lot of things until you start understanding uh, more and more about what life is. To understand life, you have to get dirty with a lot of meaning and such. And then, at a certain moment in life, when spiritual process starts, it is something that, once ignited, it cannot be uh, pulled back. So, the very simple point of this is that, um, once it starts, it will continue through all your following lives. So, the point about this is, um, as it continues, you theoretically fall from that pedestal of meaning that you have created. And you will fall and fall, faster or slower, depending per life, depending per pace, depending per moment that you're experiencing. And most likely you're also experiencing multiple realities at the same time. It's just that you're only aware of just one. That is why reality switching occurs. You can simply switch from one reality to another one. This is something that happens, but most people simply don't understand. One thing that can denote that would be sudden jolts in your body or, well, different other sensations. This differs, again, by individual. So, this falling is basically you, uh, it's like approaching a black hole more and more, okay? When this happens, it's not that you're gonna be deleted, okay? It's just that your memory imprint is just being uh, deleted from you. Okay, your karma is kind of being deleted, but you see, karma is more than just uh, sins. Because people only ask, uh, how can I burn my karma? They ask this because of that ancient fear of a so-called stupid god that doesn't have anything else than to simply, uh, you know, judge and punish people for some of the misdeeds, especially in a world that they don't even know what they should be doing in. Okay, that's not how things actually go especially after you die. Now, the point is, falling in dreams is representative of a lot more of, than these, okay? I have provided a few points. Um, it can mean much, much more than this. Hopefully, this video serves as an eye-opener. And, well, just as usual, try becoming a bit more introspective. If you like this kind of 
content that I'm creating, feel free to like and subscribe, feel free to uh, follow and uh, especially share with others so that, you know, we can together raise the awareness and consciousness level of people on the planet. This is a slow process that's taking place anyways, but just based on our um, deeds, we can actually hasten that or we can actually uh, slow this process, but it cannot be stopped. So take more care of yourself, become more introspective, and as usual, you are loved and appreciated. Ferenjan Board signing out.